Hey there. How you doing? Welcome back to another hardcore modded video. I've done a little bit since the last episode. I've added a little path here. I moved my nether portal down. But today we're going to be building a fishing hut over there by the river. I've kind of already got it started. There's a fire and a pot set up. But I think we should sleep here so I don't get swarmed by zombies in the nighttime. But yeah, today we're building a fishing hut so that we can have a source of food. We already have some food over here. Oh, there's a skeleton in there. There's just another source of food so that we can continue to thrive in the world. Um, what do we need to build this? I think we have everything that we need in terms of wood. The basic design is gonna start, where should it start? I'll have it just start here, but I'll move the grass back a little bit again. Let's say here. And I think this time I'm gonna put it into the ground instead of building on top of the ground. We'll do a five by five and then we can move this layer of dirt back again. We'll bring this out to here and then we'll switch to slabs. Come out as like a dock. We'll do something like that. I think that's good. And then we can just put some fences underneath, act as pillars, connecting it to the ground. How does that look for a fishing platform? That looks good. The walls start here, right? I think the door is gonna be in the back so that we can have access to our pot and our little campfire back here. I do want to get some windows for it, so I'll go check if I have any extra glass. I think I'm just going to leave this open and then have a small arch that comes across and we'll have all of our fishing supplies in here. But I wanted to get some windows because I think that would look good. Uh, what should I talk about today? Because last time I kind of talked about something small. Oh, let's talk about this. Uh, I streamed for the first time on this YouTube channel and I think it went well. I can't remember if the stream hours count for watch hours because I've been trying to check and it doesn't look like they are transferring. But if any of you know for sure that they do transfer, can you let me know in the comments of this video? I don't have very much glass. Did I leave some in here? No, I'm going to go get four more pieces of sand yeah like i was saying i live streamed for the first time i think it went well it was just a test stream i didn't really have anything planned but maybe in the future if you guys want i can plan stuff that can be streamed and you guys can join in and we can all have like an event or something like the trivia night that i did that could be put into a live stream if you guys wanted and then i don't have to re-upload the video maybe maybe that works i don't know so you guys can see my point of view i need an idea i don't know what to do for the next event or when to do it i was thinking this week but i don't know anymore I might not have time. I like this world. It's so peaceful compared to my other ones. Like the server, I enjoy it, but getting harassed 24 seven is, you know, it's it's a challenge. Okay, we got our glass. We can go back to the fishing hut down here. Think like that. And then I'll put a door on it and we'll start working on the roof, which will probably just be two layered slabs. Why did I run back up here? Should I add the, the logs to the corners right here? Yeah, definitely for sure that needs to be put in there. Anyway, uh, I did start a Patreon and it feels weird to have it out there now but it's all the money goes back into the server. Those people will be displayed on the screen now who are supporting me and I'll leave them up there for a little bit. Thank you again for your support. And like I said, every single video, you guys will get your names displayed, even if you don't watch till this part far in the video. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. It does help out a lot so that people can enjoy the server and not be lagging out 24 seven, which I know happens. Also, I don't wanna be mean here, but the people that watch these videos, then you join the discord and then they immediately ask, where is the server IP? No offense, but do you guys not know how to read? Like, can you just go around and look for the IP? It's not entirely that difficult. I'm not blaming you guys or anything because there's no required rules once you get into Discord. I know some of the people that I have that have been in there for a while find it a little bit frustrating when new people come in and ask for the rules, but I guess it's partly my fault for not displaying a rules section that everyone can see. Like, you know how on some Discord servers there's rules whenever you get in and they make you like check off on the checkbox rules and then you can start playing? Maybe that's my fault. It's just the type of audience I thought I would be attracting would be able to read a little bit more. Oh, this mod pack. I keep getting questions about releasing this mod pack. I can do it after this video and maybe put a link to it in the description, but there's no guarantees that it's been approved by the time this video is released. Curse Forge is not the fastest with that. Oh, did I miss a row? Oh, I did. Like I've said before, if you've watched any of my other ones, you know that Curse Forge takes a little bit of time to approve the mod pack, but once it's approved, then I can push out updates really fast. Like in a matter of minutes, updates can be pushed out. Why does this just look so wrong? No, that just makes it look worse. Maybe just slaps around the... Uh, no, I don't know what's wrong with it. It just kind of looks wrong. I'm gonna try moving this dirt back a little bit. Oh, I know what I can do. I still have some fences left. Maybe this will help. Maybe like some support pillars like that. Okay, that, that makes it look a little bit better. And I can bring these down into the water. I guess that kind of works. But then this one's connected. 
here. Whoa, I forgot I had that. I don't mind it at all. It looks better. Yeah, that looks much better. It doesn't look as weird. <laughs> so we have the fishing hut. Oh, you know what else I'm gonna do? I'm going to, I wanna put more spruce logs somewhere. Okay, we wanted to come in here and add all of our fishing stuff. So a cutting board, I'll add a barrel in here. Cause you know, you put fish in a barrel. We'll add an upwards facing barrel like that. And then the pot is out here. I'm gonna move the cutting board back one and I'll put a knife on it. I do remember how to make a knife like that. I'm gonna sleep again. Just in case, you know, this is hardcore. I haven't really done anything crazy in it, but it is hardcore. Another comment that I've seen a lot of is people saying uh, that they enjoy this type of video because it's not all screaming in your face and just super fast paced with like a billion different hardcore, I survived a billion days, whatever. No offense to the people that enjoy that kind of content. It's just not what I want to put out. And it does remind me of older minecraft videos or these do at least so maybe there's being a return of the older content because you know everything's cyclical right everything is a cycle it goes from one thing that was popular in the past back to that thing like minecraft you know do i not have any string to make a fishing rod i guess i don't i shouldn't have slept so i could get some from a spider anyway we wanted to get an i don't know what what else did we need or were we just sleeping I think I was just sleeping. I kind of lost my train of thought there. This is looking good. I think this is good enough for the fishing hut for now. I need to get a fishing rod and let's eat our steak and potatoes since we're done building. We have a uh, nourishment. I think that just prevents me from having to eat a lot. We can go ahead and extend our path up here. And what I'm gonna do is make it around the campfire so that once we get our fish, we can come and cook our stews and stuff on the campfire. Oh man, I think I can relight it with flint and steel. I'll go get it in a second. That makes it look good, I think. Makes it look like people have walked around the campfire more than, than like right underneath it. Yesterday when I was playing in the, in the server on the live stream, or I, I don't remember if I was streaming or not. I might've been, but someone told me that I get distracted really easily in this game. And I was thinking, yeah, that's kind of the point of Minecraft though. You get distracted in like random things and you build random something that you don't even need to help you progress in the game just for fun. And that's the beauty of it. That's the fun of Minecraft, how you can experience those things and then, you know, move on with your life like nothing happened. Cause I just made a path. I think it's just for looks. Let's see how it looks on the free cam. I like it. Looks good. We need to relight that fire though. There's my flint and steel. And then I need to get some string. Maybe I'll go back into the mine, find some. There's a mine that I have over here. Yeah, down here. Um, How did I get down? Oh, I almost just died. I almost just fell down there and died. If we come down here, then I have a big cave area. Oh, actually, I don't want to fight a skeleton today. That's not... I'll fight a zombie, but I don't have a shield. I didn't think this was going to be that dangerous coming down here. Oh, there you are. Two string, we just need one more, and we're good to go. Who told the game not to spawn any spiders? I just want to get a fishing rod. There you are. Come on. Please have some string. Thank you. That took way too long. Oh, you're going to kill me, aren't you? Oh, no, you were too late. Before I even get back in my own bed, I'm harvesting these potatoes and replanting them. And we are cooking potatoes when we get inside so we don't have to have this horrible uncooked potato food. Look, there's a spider right there. Oh, well, you know, you get it when you get it. You can't really decide when the game spawns stuff for you. So much better. We also got a lot of iron. Okay, let's make our fishing rod. Oh, wait, wasn't a fishing rod only two? It's a bow that's three. I seriously wasted all that time for no reason. Oh, well, well, at least we can end the episode fishing. I wonder what it looks like with the shaders on in the water. Do I get the particles of the fish? Oh, no, if you don't get any particles, it just goes under thank you all for watching but i think that's gonna be it for today thank you again to the patreon supporters uh your names have already been put out so thank you i think there's around four of you now thank you for all your support and i think everyone on the server thanks you when they're not lagging but that's gonna be it for my fishing hut i think i missed it anyway thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i will catch you in the next one Bye bye